the acceptable performance and condition. The width of the gap may vary on different sides of the edges of the door. On any specific side or edge of the door, the door and jamb shall be in general visual alignment. Variance in the gap shall not exceed double the narrowest dimension along that side or edge. So this article, although the wording tends to get a little confusing, you're only measuring the difference in gap on a side or the top. You're not comparing one side to the other or the top to a side. It falls under the one-year working materials warranty. Damage resulting from normal shrinkage of materials due to drying after construction is excluded from the statutory warranty. And the action is doors not meeting the acceptable performance shall be repaired, and there are no remarks. For this one, we measure the narrowest spot. Let's say it's down here, and it comes out to about three millimeters. And then you'd find the widest spot and you measure, say it's here, and that's four millimeters. In order for it to be warranted, the widest gap has to be more than twice the width of the narrowest gap on that side or top. In the case of a double door, one door would act as a jam to the other, so you, that it applies to the center gap as well. Never applies to the bottom gap because we have uneven floors and unlevel floors to deal with. 